I recently looked up a definition of faith on an online dictionary, and it said that faith was a strong belief in God or in doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than on proof. In other words, it's just a very polite way of saying that faith is irrational. More to the point, the famous and outspoken atheist Richard Dawkins said this, Faith is a great cop-out, the great excuse to evade the need to think and evaluate evidence. Faith is belief in spite of, even perhaps because of, the lack of evidence. But is that how the Bible defines faith? Stay tuned and find out. Now, imagine with me for just a moment that you and some friends are out on a road trip. And you, well, you're out in the middle of nowhere. In fact, you haven't even seen another car for over an hour. Suddenly, a deer jumps out in the middle of the road and you swerve to avoid it. But unfortunately, you end up crashing into the ditch. For whatever reason, you're the only one who remains uninjured. So it's up to you to go and find help. So you grab your smartphone and your GPS tells you that six kilometers as the crow flies there is a gas station through that forest, so you strike out. But in doing so, you immediately begin to think of, well, all those media stories of, of GPSs causing people to drive into rivers and to lakes. Nevertheless, you still strike forward anyways, because you know that 99.9% .9 of the time, GPSs are highly accurate. So although you can't be 100% certain that that gas station actually exists and that you can't see it, you do have reasonable grounds to believe that it does exist. You are not being irrational. You are not taking a blind leap of faith. Now, I'm sure that you know where I'm going with this analogy, that biblical faith is a lot like trusting the GPS on your smartphone, that faith isn't blind, that we do have good reasons to believe what we believe. Ironically, though, there are many sincere believers who would inadvertently define faith along very similar lines as Richard Dawkins that faith is a leap, that we should just believe something just because that's what good Christians do. But that's certainly not how the Bible defines faith. When David was trying to convince King Saul to let him go and fight Goliath, the reason David gave was that as a shepherd, he had fought and killed lions and bears. And he reasoned that, well, if God had protected him during those times, then why not with Goliath? David's faith wasn't blind. He had good reasons to believe that he could take on Goliath and win. Now, within the safety of the church walls, you can get away with believing in, say, the resurrection or the reliability of the scriptures without ever really knowing the reasons why. But not so once you get outside of the church, especially on a college or university campus. Unfortunately, right now and in the coming months, many Christian youth who maybe were raised in the church, maybe were even leaders of their youth group, will have their faith crushed. Why? because they've been raised on a blind faith. They've never been taught to the reasons why they should believe what they believe, which is tragic because true biblical faith isn't blind. It is an evidential faith. We have reasons to believe what we believe. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you know a university student who would be interested in this video, please share it with them and let them know that throughout the month of September, I'll be uh, doing videos just like this one, dealing with the big questions that they might face. Um, for example, next week I'll be dealing with the issue, is the Bible still reliable? So you won't want to miss that yourself. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next Thursday.